Dr. Jaffe, members of the Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College. I accept the charge to become the fourth superintendent and president of Santa Monica College with pride and excitement. I will, to the best of my abilities, dedicate myself to serve this college and its community so that Santa Monica College may keep its unflinching place of distinction as a leader and innovator of higher education for years to come. Ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, Santa Monica College Superintendent President, Dr. Catherine E. Jeffrey. Okay. All right. All right. Now you're on. Thank you. Thank you. I feel kind of like the graduates at the end of graduation ceremonies. I want to take my TAM and throw it in the air and wave my hands like I just don't care. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you, Chair Jaffe, Vice Chair Dr. Andrew Walzer, and thank you to all of the members of the esteemed Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College for entrusting me with the honor of serving Santa Monica College as its fourth superintendent president. And since my first day on the job, February 8th, I've been greeted warmly and treated with great respect by the faculty, staff, and students of this fine institution. I've started the process of engaging community leaders and local residents uh, and it's my intent to build relationships with as many individuals and groups as I possibly can because I hear over and over from our partners inside the institution and across this region and across the state and from outside of the country as well. SMC graduates and community friends are all proud to be SMC. What do college presidents do? I know you ask yourselves that. What do college presidents do? Well, I'm happy to share with you just a few of the things that I've been doing since I started 127 days on this job. You might have seen me on campus to the faculty and staff and to the students. You may have seen me out in the community at a number of different events. I've attended Student Services Awards, Alpha Gamma Sigma Awards Dinner, classified employee recognition events, associated student government meetings, student plays, art exhibits, photography shows. I've attended department meetings for math, English, physics, life sciences, early childhood education, social sciences. I helped judge the Global Citizenship Symposium, the Spring Photography Show. I'm serving on the Broad Stage Board the Santa Monica College Foundation Board, and on regional, statewide, and national committees on behalf of community colleges. I've attended events for STEM students, veterans, student athletes, SMC uh, scholarship program I attended just this past week, and on last Saturday, I had the awesome opportunity to be in the audience for the Synapse Dance Theater. You really need to scream for that because it was awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. I have met with colleagues and students at all SMC locations, the Bundy campus, Airport Arts campus, the Performing Arts campus. I've walked every floor of the Emeritus College twice and looked at every classroom there. I've visited counseling, financial aid, and STEM tutoring centers, the cosmetology department, KCRW radio station, the Organic Learning gar Garden, which was a rewarding break. <laughs> Some of these places I visited because I was scheduled to be there. Some of them I just popped in because I was in the, the vicinity and wanted to just peek in and see what was happening. I even found time to squeeze in 14 dance lessons over a nine week period so I could participate in the first ever Sand and Sea Ball to raise money for the Santa Monica Malibu Education Foundation 
and provide dance lessons for every fifth grader in the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. I take time to meet people who are part of our community. I especially enjoy it when students come up to me and ask if I'm the new president. And just last week, someone approached me and said, are you the new principal? <laughs> I guess that means people recognize me, and that makes me feel good. They quickly tell me uh, what they like about being part of SMC, and they equally tell me what they don't like. I make it a point to follow up on things we can improve, and I share news about the things we are doing well. I've addressed the Malibu City Council in support of our proposed SMC Malibu campus. My first uh, weeks on the job, I was privileged to view the premiere of Agents of Change, a documentary that tells the story behind the civil rights protests at campuses like Cornell and San Francisco State in the 60s. The film was co-directed by SMC Associate Dean Frank Dawson, and it took top award at the 2015 Pan-African Film Festival. Also, I attended the premiere of a moving documentary about an artist living with depression, Heaven is a Traffic Jam on the 405, directed by SMC Foundation board member Frank Stifel who is also a scholarship donor, donor. And I have to tell you, after seeing that movie, when I'm riding on the 405 freeway, I have a totally different perspective now. So I'm not so frustrated by it. I've communicated with SMC student Kevin Maxwell, whose film Cora was screened in May at the American Pavilion at the Cannes Film Festival and was shortlisted for the British Academy of Film and Television. This opportunity that I have to be part of such a dynamic and transformative community is energizing and inspiring, and is something that I do not take for granted. I have served in higher education for well over 30 years, nearly 40 years. I think I'm short of 40 years by about two weeks. As a faculty member, I've been a faculty member, a counselor, program coordinator, and an administrator. I was a dean at California Community College's chancellor's office and served as president of two community colleges and the chief campus administrator of a third. I told students last week at the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society induction that when I was president of Hennepin Technical College, I thought I could not fall in love again with a group of students because I loved those students at HTC so much. But I was wrong. When I became the president of Sacramento City College, I thought, this is it. I can never love another group of students as much as I love the students at Sac City. Again, I was wrong. Then I found myself here at Santa Monica College. And I am truly overwhelmed with the affection and love that I feel right out of the gate for the students here at SMC. I honestly love you as if I've been part of your journey all along. I want big things for you today, and I want big things for you in the days and months and years ahead. For my colleagues that I work with here in the college, I want to work with you and make the best decisions possible to benefit our entire college community. My broad universe of experiences has helped me develop skills and perspective in ways that enable me to stand before you as the president of Santa Monica College. I do not think this is an accident. So far, I'm enjoying working with you. <laughs> and I'm learning from you as I hope you are learning from me. I enthusiastically look forward to our years ahead, and this investiture of my role as president has been placed on this commencement program to enable me to publicly accept the authority and responsibilities I have to serve the students, the faculty, the staff, 
and the external community of Santa Monica College as a whole, but mostly because of the responsibility I have to serve the students of SMC. Now, I want to say a few words directly to you, the graduates. I want to give you two visuals to take with you as you leave SMC. One visual is solid, the other is fluid. The first visual is to give you courage and confidence. One of my favorite poems is by Langston Hughes. It is titled, Mother to Son. And it starts like this. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. I've taken the liberty to paraphrase the poem a little. I don't think Mr. Hughes would mind. <laughs> well, students, you've told us life for you ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time, You've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So as you graduate and complete certificates, don't turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it kind of hard. Don't you fail now. Keep going. Keep climbing. Although life for you ain't been no crystal stair, claim that crystal stair one step at a time and make it yours. <laughs> and when you get to the top, and I have no doubt that you will make it to the top, please look back and you will see all of us here at SMC cheering you on to your next highest achievement. Now the second visual I want to give you is one of hope to remind you of your personal value, to appreciate your legacy. As the class of 2016, you represent an incredible diversity. That has already been acknowledged by Dr. Jaffe. Our youngest graduate this year is 16. On the other side of the spectrum, spectrum, we have a 72-year-old graduate. Over 5,000 degrees and certificates are being awarded this year, representing a whole range of majors. Among you, there are future and current nurses, graphic designers, teachers, cosmetologists. You can cheer for your area. Scientists, performing artists, computer scientists, I could go on and on. You've come to Santa Monica College from the city of Santa Monica, from China, from South Central Los Angeles, from Sweden, from Brazil, from Iran, from Orange County, from Turkey, from throughout California, across the country, and from around the world. You have enriched our college with your unique perspectives, languages, cultures, and abilities. The mission of SMC has the term global community in it. And as a community of teachers and learners, we are very proud of our diversity. Thank you for making Santa Monica College such a rich microcosm of our incredible global community. And be proud of who you are and where you come from. Be proud of your roots, both a physical place and also an emotional and spiritual space where you feel most comfortable. Along with this, also remember the world is bigger than where you are today. While your roots are an important part of who you are, learning is a lifelong process. Stay open to new ideas and points of view, and use critical thinking to filter that new knowledge, keeping what makes you a better person and casting off the rest. The world is at a crossroads today, and it is more important than ever for us to acknowledge and harness power, 
and strength and beauty and intelligence, which comes in many, many, many forms. You, the class of 2016, are like the tide that rolls out and takes sand with it, so you will leave with SMC a part of who you are, and you will take part of the college with you as well. And in doing so, you will leave a great impression of yourself with us. We will long remember you after you leave. And we will be telling incoming students about you as you will recount to others the things that you remember best about your times here at SMC. So as you go from shore, one shore to the next, and put out new roots both far and near, as you climb each stair, please remember to be proud to be SMC. Okay, now we got that over with. It's a little long, but I had some things I wanted to say. You know how it is. <laughs> I get this one opportunity as a first time, so I just needed to get it out. <laughs> now I have to find my place in the book. Okay. It is now my pleasure to recognize the Santa Monica College Foundation's Alumni Recognition Award recipients for distinguished community service and outstanding professional achievement. The Vice President of Zambia, the Honorable Inonge Matukwa Wina, SMC Class of 1962, and renowned feminist media, media critic Anita Sarkeesian, class of 2005. They are not present here today as we have conferred their awards in formal ceremonies during recent visits here to the college. You can read about both of these incredible women in your programs, but please, with a round of applause, let's acknowledge them. Thank you. 